Lord, my behemoth, some of us need to stop though. Somebody sent out something to say that Mr. Brave Davis was on the airport in Florida walking past the Bahamian people who were stranded on the floor. That's not true. I did my own investigation trying to find out if I could see a copy of the video or a picture with Mr. Davis walking past and seeing his Bahamian people stranded. But I do know that Hubert Minnis is the Prime Minister of the Bahamas and we do have a consulate in Miami that he could have called to help those people but that didn't happen Minnis don't give a damn about you how about the leader of the DNA she don't give a damn herself they didn't try to help y'all off the airport floor but I know Brave is making some calls to assist y'all that's the truth so I had to write this song about Dr. Minnis. This for you. One, he abandoning you. He want a fee from you. It's plain to see that Minnis don't give a shit about being for Y'all on the airport floor. We had enough of his lies. Man, listen, when they said number five, we had enough of his lies. Minister, we had enough of your lies. You know you could have helped the people. You know one call you could have made. Come on now. The Prime Minister of the Bahamas could have made a call. You could have given one of those hotels to put your people inside and give them a hot meal. DNA leader, you could have put pressure on Dr. Minister to do it. But no, he leave those people on the floor. I waiting on the auntie, sister, mother, uncle, child, for his cousin, son, to show me one video with Mr. Brave Davis walking past the Bohemian people. You're only trying to distract people because this is election time. Come on. Show me the video. Because I know that man has compassion for his people. You all might have the raw poison mix up. Dr. Minnis don't have no compassion for us. None whatsoever. In a pandemic, he left us locked inside without a damn dollar to eat. But then at the end of the day, you can watch your people and people outside with a video that went viral, begging for help for your people, Dr. Minnis. Man, these people been through so much. I saw somebody even post up and say, oh, they shouldn't have been going to Miami and know that we got this going on. These people gotta go to Miami. You all see the prices inside of the food store? We need price control in the Bahamas, bad. The plane ticket and the food will come out cheaper and customs and freight will come out cheaper for what we pay for our prices in the food store. That's what you call a man with no compassion. That he ain't ever tried to put pressure on nobody to bring the prices down. But then therefore, when you take your last dollar and you go on there, you sleep on Miami airport floor while your prime minister slept in his nice, comfortable bed. And didn't give a shit about you. Can't wait for election. Dr. Minnis, you need to get voted out. You will be voted out. You've done enough. I, I, can't, I can't count the things that you have done to the people. And you could sleep with this. You need to take your glasses off. And stand up on the top of Atlanta's roof at a hotel. And ask yourself what else you can do to save the Bahamian people. What else? It's so embarrassing. We in second, we in third, we in fourth, we in fifth, we in sixth. We in seven class citizens in our own country with a prime minister who don't give a shit. Dr. Minnis, you have yourself a great day. And if you could sleep one more night knowing about those people's situation, if you could sleep one more night. And in, ask yourself, I'm the Prime Minister and I could make some calls to help those people. Use a damn man without a heart.